Turning now to new details on the Aaron Hernandez murder investigation. As we reported yesterday morning, prosecutors were expected to reveal new information on the investigation at yesterday's bail hearing for Ernest Wallace in Fall River. That included a shocking revelation about another co-defendant, Carlos Ortiz, who is due in court later today. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is digging deeper into this new information. He has the latest now with the Mobile Newsroom. Well, with his court appearance looming later today here at Attleboro District Court, Carlos Ortiz is reportedly cooperating with officials and, and law enforcement. And now we're hearing that he has changed his story. This could really throw a wrench into the Aaron Hernandez murder investigation. This new information all came to light at Ernest Wallace's bail hearing on Thursday. Both Ortiz and Wallace are friends and co-defendants of Hernandez. On the night Odin Lloyd was killed, Ortiz, Hernandez, and Wallace were allegedly in a vehicle with Lloyd. Ortiz now claims that Hernandez and Lloyd exited the car at the time of the shooting while Wallace and Ortiz stayed inside. This all contradicts earlier testimony from Ortiz at his June arraignment. Even though he said a number of times, he uh, at least a half a dozen times that both Mr. Wallace and Mr. Hernandez got out of the vehicle, he's indicated subsequently that uh, uh, he does not believe Mr. Wallace got out of the vehicle. Now, Ortiz pleaded not guilty to a weapons count at his June arraignment, but unlike Hernandez and Wallace, Ortiz has not been indicted by a grand jury yet. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to tell you more about a connection between a gun and the other co-defendant, Ernest Wallace. For now, live with Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.